last week, I believe it was Monday or Tuesday, we did have a armed suspect run from us into the brush north of our area. We spent about three hours in the brush looking for him, and we definitely we would have had this in the area, probably could have cut down that time. A Valley law enforcement agency believes they'll be more efficient in their mission to serve and protect. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez joins us from Star County to show us how the sheriff's office plans to use their new drone. Star County is known for its proximity to the border and for its bushy ranch lands, both of which can and do pose challenges for law enforcement when they're looking for people. So with today's donated equipment, they're hoping to virtually eliminate some of these obstacles. Weapons and manpower. They're among the Star County Sheriff's Office arsenal. Even then, it's not always enough when every second counts. Looking for individuals that are lost in the wooded area, looking to brush. Uh, floaters in the river, uh, kids, kids are missing. Chef Rene Fuentes' office is adopting a new tool. Like having eyes in the sky. We, we kind of design ours um, as a quick deploy. Um, so 30 seconds you're up in the air and able to get on the scene. The drone is from the National Public Safety Drone Donation Program, or NPSDDP, who received the equipment from Autel Robotics. After a year and a half of helping agencies receive this tool, the MPSDDP chose its first law enforcement agency and the first also along the border. Quite frankly, uh, uh, a lot of people can try to cross the border and, and sadly get lost or die in the desert. And that was part of the uh, request that was made by Officer Rios. He had stressed that. And there are some uh, areas in here that are prone to flooding. So having situation awareness with a drone like that would really uh, benefit the community. Star County did see a high number of migrants crossing the border this year. Some didn't make it. This tool can help lessen the number of casualties. A lot, a lot of the times when uh, we have a body, it's very hard to get to. With the help of this uh, drone, we'd be able to pinpoint maybe an easier access road or a better you know, waterway to get to that body. The drone is equipped with GPS and thermal imaging to help find people anywhere, day or night. For example, if they were flying and saw a suspect and got over and looked down, snapped a picture, they'd know coordinates-wise where that suspect was or body or whatever the case might be. Uh, they have the ability to broadcast live. Storm may be on the border, but domestic crime will also be in the drone's sights. This will help us process the scene, get an aerial view of exactly what the back of the house looks like. And then in technical operations as well, if we need to encompass a residence, you know, rather than just having boots on the ground from seeing it from four different angles, we actually have the aerial view of it, which will definitely help us in our planning phase. The office received this drone and the drone lighting completely free of charge. Although they receive help from federal agencies, they hope this will help make them more independent and faster in responding to calls across the county. Another benefit to the drone, the product maker spokesperson tells us that their equipment won't automatically shut off when it approaches restricted airspace. Live somewhere in Star County, Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 6.